All right. Well, here we are at step 10 on the 13th principle of success and accumulating riches, if that is so what you desire. And this one is a doozy, the mastery of sex transmutation. Now, what in the world did Napoleon Hill mean by that? Well, let's get into it. So the mastery of sex transmutation. So let's first get into the word transmutation and what that means. All right. And basically, this is the definition. The changing or transferring of one element or form of energy into another. So what this goes into is sex transmutation is a switching of the mind from thoughts of physical expression, because sex is obviously a physical thing, a biological thing, which is, you know, uh, obviously a need. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> we wouldn't be here. Um, so tr sex transmutation is a switching of the mind from thoughts of physical expression, which is what it usually is, to thoughts of some other nature. Now, why this is so important is because, you know, especially for guys, maybe for more than girls, well, actually, no, I have friends, female friends who are also um, very sexually active and it really drives them as well. They have a very high sex drive, but it's using that sexual energy, that tension that you have, you know, when you are in that mind, that your brain, you know, as we all know, everything has a frequency and your thoughts have a frequency and the way your thoughts can really change the frequency of your mind. And when sex comes into play, it's one of those primal things, these instincts that we human beings, all creatures really have. Uh, and it really is a powerful uh, stimuli for our brain. And when you get into that mind, it's really hard, especially for guys more than girls. I think girls are, have better control over themselves potentially than guys do. Uh, but, you know, you once you get into that mind, uh, it, it, you know, it really drives you. It really focuses your thoughts on one specific thing. And if it's sex, it's sex with this beautiful woman or whatnot, what have you. It really is a powerful stimulating factor. So what the master of sex transmutation means and is focusing on what Napoleon Hill was saying is about transferring, utilizing that, that drive, utilizing that, that frequency of mind that it, you know, sex brings you and focusing that into your target definite purpose. So when harnessed and redirected along other lines, this motivating force maintains all of its attributes of keenness of imagination, courage, etc., which may be used as powerful creative forces in literature or, or in any other profession or calling, including, of course, the accumulation of riches. All right. So. Again, everything starts in your mind. Everything begins there. And what you visualize, what you believe, and what you make your mind believe will affect your circumstance, will affect your surroundings, will actually transform that thought into reality if you follow up with action. So if you have taken the steps of writing down your deepest burning desire you visualize that as if you've already had it you already get that emotional feeling attached to that belief that thought and repeat that to yourself every single day every single morning every single time before you go to bed you really basically fill your mind with that belief with that feeling of what you would feel if you already had these things accomplished if you already had those riches if you already had that success that you're targeting that you're dreaming of doing that will actually translate into the physical realm. That will actually, you know, using the law of vibration, the law of attraction, it's going to attract those things that are on a similar frequency, that success, the wealth, whatever it is. So the mastery of sex mutation, this chapter is really focusing on utilizing the powerful drive that sex has, you know, prime, it's innate in all human beings and all creatures, really, and all mammals, creatures and you know that need to reproduce to continue its existence using that primal energy that drive that it is that power of that into targeting and transferring that into your target uh purpose into what year it is if it's riches well then using that as a driving factor to instead of focusing on the sex side to focusing on that which you truly desire and putting that into action, letting that drive you, letting that help you overcome procrastination, helping you to execute to that goal. So that is the power and again, step 10 of the 13 principles of success.